You must construct additional pylons. Welcome everybody to Prison Architect here on Additional Pylons Games, where you and I relive digital nostalgia by playing epic, iconic, and indie video games. Like this game, Prison Architect. Nice little, fun little game from a smaller game studio. Uh, just, er, I, I don't know. I just love it. I think it's the epitome of what a, of what an indie game should be. It's just like this. It takes like a, a common concept, like Sim City, The Sims, Sim this, Sim that, Sim Roller Coaster, whatever, and says basically, let's make Sim Prison because that'll be fun. And they do it, and they make a great, successful game. So we're gonna play a round of uh, Prison Architect, and wow, um, there have been some changes <laughs> since I've last played. Gonna be honest. So first things first. Uh, let's let's do a lady prison. I think that'll be fun. Secondly, choosing a warden. We get to choose a warden. All right. So, Safarak Nova. Uh, she's shady. Gets a small cut on resale for contraband. Nice. Pacifier reduces temperature in prison, making them less likely to cause trouble. That could be good. Guard dogs have a 50% chance of fully uncovering any tunnels. Mr. Periwinkle. That could be pretty useful. Rita, with her. Uh, their business dress and the big collars and the sassy haircut. Uh, ruthless and terrifying. She may or may not carry a whip. Halves the likelihood of prisoners being historical or fearless. Suppress twice as quickly. Oh, yes. Oh, sir. Oh, I don't even care what you do. I mean, this, this is the man for us, the lobbyist. Friends in high places make sure easily controlled prisoners end up coming his way. All right, so this is gonna make things a little bit easier, which means I think that when we go to do the, uh, oh man, I just, sorry, I can't even speak, that monocle, that, those ch those chops, oh, what, what a classy fellow. All right, so we're gonna go for a small prison. That's enough for now. Fog of War is good, Generate Force is good. Uh, failure Conditions, also good. Um, let's, so let's do Weather and Temperature. Um, and, hmm, events to occur in the game keep you on your toes, extra challenge, element unpredictability. Uh, let's go with events. We'll try events. We'll have fun with that. All right, let's go ahead, try it out. There we are. First day of our new prison. So we got our, got some workers here. Let's go ahead and get a foundation going. We're gonna go with a brick building just cause I live down in the American South. Brick is everywhere down here. So why not? It's a good enough reason, in my mind. All right, we'll go 10 by 20 for this initial entrance. Let's hit it up to double speed. Get ourselves, let's go with a, um, yeah, let's just, screw it. Let's just go with a large jail door. <laughs> All right, so we'll put that one there and there. Um, so for those of you who have ever watched some of my other series, you'll know that generally I'm a little OCD about things. I like things to be nice and neat and in a particular order, if you will. Oh, let's do some planning while I'm talking. So we're gonna plan and have a little uh, utilities building out here. Uh, we wanna go like that. So for those of you who watch my other series, you'll know that sometimes I can be a little, uh, a little anal about things, a little OCD about things. So in Prison Architect though, I am intentionally not that way because otherwise I would spend years just like in the layout section of my prison just getting everything laid out in that sense so uh if if things are a little off kilter if things are a little like not centered or anything like that that's why uh, because i have a tendency to want to do that anyways we're gonna do staff doors there and there um and so i'm just kind of i guess more or less protecting the series against me doing something really stupid really boring uh just making sure everything is Perfect. All right, so got the building there. And then let's go ahead. All right, let's get our utilities up and running. Water station there. Power station there. I'm not sure if it's bad if they're that close or not. Put our capacitor that we have right there. And electricity to that. And here, and like that. Large pipes. So, and we will go from there. All right, let's go ahead and do, 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 do. We'll make this into the holding cell. Nice big holding cell. We'll have 
reception. Reception will be right there. Let's go ahead and build a brick wall. So, boom and boom. And objects, another large jail door. I like these double doors. I've always, for whatever reason, I've always preferred the, the double doors. Um, toilet and bench. All right, we'll put, put the toilets on in the corner, but facing each other. <laughs> uh, make sure that there's as little privacy as possible. And see right here already, this is all, it's off, off center. But you know what? We're just gonna deal with it. All right. Utilities, we want, well, let's just go ahead and bring this guy down here like that. And then we'll do like so. Boom. And boom. There's our holding cell reception. Office desk, table, and chair. All right, we can do that no problem. We're gonna get this up and running if I can ever find any of these things. Um, chair right there. Do they really not have them? Like, that's weird. All right, desk and table was the last thing we needed. Boom, boom, A couple tables. That should be good. All right. There we are. Let's get going on the foundation of the actual prison itself. So we're gonna have we're gonna so we're gonna do actually let's redo this real quick. Um, let's go like this. Twenty by eh. twenty by twenty to begin with. Materials are. are uh, Obviously, we're going to need another large jail door right there. And then let's go ahead and get some fencing going. So we're, for now, we'll just fence in like that. That's there. And that's like so. All right, that should be good. Let's get some paving stones to there and also some paving stones we'll have a nice little I don't know we'll have like a little square patio place out here and then shoot let's just that looks fine it's good it's good enough again like I said I'm not gonna I can't be too uh, retentive about this Anyways, so we're, let's see, what else can we do? Let's go ahead and get our warden. Oh, sir. Oh, yes. What a classy fellow. All right, he requires an office. I think that's an excellent idea. So we'll have office building be over in, uh, yeah, we'll have the office building right here. So, that should be good. And we'll just have it nice and long. Like that. That is most of our money right there. Um, let's go ahead and we need to plan out rooms for starters. We're going to go with, okay, we've got minimum and normal security. For now, we're just gonna go with uh, dorms, dormitories. So we'll make, um, Four by three, and hope that that works. It did not. All right, so let's go with. Let's redo this then. All right, does four by two work? Again, not really. Um, all right, so we'll just do this, and then we'll we'll put something else here, like solitary or, or something like that. All right, so brick walls. Oh, that needs an entrance. All right, let's go ahead and get this staff door entrance here, and we'll do a staff door entrance there as well. Um, let's get our utilities online. So 
let's get this electric, electric, electricity, geez, going. And then let's go ahead and get some materials going. Brick walls there and there. Here's what we're gonna do. Oh, deletes the whole thing. Yeah. It used to be when you right click, it only deleted the single wall piece that you were clicking on. Oh well. Not a big deal. And these need bed bunk, toilet, and obviously a jail door. Alright, let's go with the bunk bed. We'll cram four people into these tiny dorms. And we have no money. Alright, let's go ahead. <laughs> Shoot. Um, I have severely overestimated the cost. And underestimated my inflow. Alright. So we have no dorms ready for people. <laughs> we also have no canteen or anything. I think I was maybe a little aggressive on how big I built everything. That's alright though. Let's go ahead and uh, can we bulldoze? No? Does that not work? Alright. So then whatever. We're going to dismantle a bunch of these trees and the reason we have, we're have we gonna do that is because we can actually sell the wood to get some money back. All right. So this is the first in our series of uh, a short series for Prison Architect. Uh, definitely some things to, ooh, there we go. See, sell object, made 150 bucks, nice. Um, definitely some stuff that I have to learn again. Because I, I've been away from this game for quite some time, actually. Chop it down, boys. Come on. All right. The tree stump we can't do anything about, but the logs. Sell each log for a little bit of money. Oh, not the tree stump. Back. There we go. The object. See, there we go. Who knew that wood was so expensive? So valuable as well. So we're going to sell all this stuff, and that will allow us to finish up most, if not all, of these little jail cells. Three should be enough for everybody. Let's go ahead and get the toilets. I uh, pity the poor sap who's got this. He's got the bunk down here. Um, Especially on uh, Taco Tuesdays here at the at the prison. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it's a prison. It's not supposed to be nice, right? Right? Oh, that looked that looked kind of weird. It looked like there this was a big conveyor belt and everybody was uh, bringing the toilets down. All right, that should be good enough for the toilets there. I'm thinking. And doo -doo -doo -doo. all right, so let's go ahead and start setting up this guy's office. Is the office. Why are these not in... I don't understand why these are not color-coded. Oh, there's the office. Color-coded and or alphabetical. It just seems... logically the most consistent. Let's go ahead do a wider hallway and we'll just do it like that. Alright. So we got 91 bucks. <laughs> not even enough. Uh, this guy doesn't even have a proper office. Alright. So office desk there. Chair, that is a $30 chair. Alright. And filing cabinet. 30 bucks for a filing cabinet? You're right. And insufficient funds. Alright. So, our lady prisoners should be showing up any moment now. Uh, 43 minutes. And hopefully we get a good influx of cash when they arrive. Oh, that's the other thing. Grants. I forgot grants. Basic Detention Center and Administration Center. Yes, please. That's where we need to get our money. Let's go ahead and research finance. And then let us we need to get ourselves some guards. There we go. Guards are on the way. No canteens. All right. We, were, we are going to fix that here in just a moment. And the way we're going to do that, let's go ahead and get a jail door here. Well, as some paving stones. 
like that. And what we're going to do is actually have oh notebook page. I wonder if you can actually learn anything from this. We do have some notebook pages. There we go. Three of them. Anyways, little handy things. Let's go ahead and... Oh, no, not dump. Sell. There we go. Sell. Get as much money as we can. We... Alright, where are our... Pri oh, our prisoners have a arrived. And they are naked. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... He's working on that. Nope, I want that double time. Somebody had a fork on him. Unbelievable. Let's go ahead and we're going to do... Yeah, we're gonna have the building separated. So let's go ahead and... What do we have, 27,000? Oh yeah, that's plenty. All right. We'll do a nice long building like so. And let's go ahead and, let's see here, jail door, there, and we'll do later, we'll do more jail doors at a later date. Basically, eventually we're going to separate this so we'll have um, minimum security, medium security, maximum security, all in separate wings. But for now, we're not too worried about that. Let's go ahead and get fences there and there. Also make sure we get fence. Do we ever have to? I don't think we have to get fences for those. All right. Let's go ahead and construct some brick walls there. And we need a door for our fancy, fancy sir. Yes, researching finance. All right. No canteens at the moment, but we are remedying that here. Let's go ahead and get some more capacitors going help with our electric make sure that we don't have any issues there um, hmm I've actually never really played with any of these like any of this stuff gel wires connect tidy wires interesting all right so we're gonna come up here That should be good for now. All right, and rooms. We need, what is it we need? A canteen. Canteen is going to be right there. Common room right here. And uh, where is kitchen? There it is. Kitchen will be, we'll, we'll have this divided off by wall. Right there. Materials. Brick wall like so. Brick wall, brick wall. And we want door here. We also need a cooker. Not sure if that's backwards or not. Here, there the fridge down here and a sink there that should be good and I think we need to hooks we need to hook some of this up with electric, electric. Uh, cooker definitely needs electric and let's just go ahead and assume that the fridge the fr or the uh, sink might not actually now that I think about it oh well water There we go. All right, utilities should be all set. And we just need to get a few more objects in here. And we're good for canteen. Common room is already done. Let's go ahead and set. We need tables and chairs. So we're just gonna do boom. Uh, that'll be good for now. And benches. You can always expand this out a little bit. There is plenty of seating for our lovely lady guests to uh, enjoy their stay. Make some buddies at mealtime. There we go. Sink. Sink is coming soon. Alright. And then showers. We do need to do showers as well. 
Why is nobody patrolling in here? My question. Let's get another guard. Two guards, actually. And we need some cooks. What? Block. No. Oh, there we go. Alright. Um, let's also go ahead and do a staff door. Well, we're, we're eventually we're going to do a staff door out the back here once we've got this all fenced in. Fenced up. But for now, I think we're okay. And did we research accounting? We did. What? There we go. Alright, let's give her an office as well. Boom. Objects. Desk. Chair. And filing cabinet. So, there we are. I think we got the start of a decent prison. I kind of, I'm kind of liking this new uh, outbuilding system, if you will, that I'm doing. So we got, so instead of having like one continuous building all connected, which is something that I actually have done in, a lot in past iterations of this game, it's more of a, you know, separation of separation of powers. No, separation of a uh, of the buildings. What was that? Let's go ahead and finish up this final dorm. And we need some jail doors on these guys. There we go. Mm. So, I think. All right, so we've got, oh, we've got more prisoners than we have capacity. That's what it's saying. Okay. That's all right. They can, uh, well, we do need a shower. Let's do that right here, then. We'll build it out a little bit. Like that. And let's go ahead and... Brick walls. Like so. We need door. Get some shower heads here. Good. And drains. Definitely want drains across the front. And there we are. Hey, grant completion. Nice. What grant did we finish? Come on. There we go. Uh, basic. Oh, the administrative. Whatever. We'll do short term investment. Get ourselves a little more starting cash here to begin with. Why is there no. Why did, why did this wall not get built? I don't understand. It's there. It's queued. I don't get it. All right. Some water pipes there. Make sure everybody's got showers. Running showers, that is. Running showers. And then the common room. We can, we can put a few things into the common room. Put a... TV here in the corner. Uh, we'll do we'll do a couple TVs separated so that people you know ooh, large TV um, experience brain rot. Nice. I like the uh, little descriptions that they have here. Arcade cabinet. Uh, I don't know about that. That might be a little bit much for our our visitors, patrons, if you will. All right. So we got some couches. Let's do some sofa, sofa chairs, kind of like that. Boom, boom. Uh, we still got six grand. Okay. Um, <laughs> we can. What else can we? Do? Pool table. There we go. Get a pool table going right there in the middle, and a couple phone booths. a little bit of privacy and I think that'll be good there we are things are coming together pretty well all right what else can all right so you can research let's do extra grant uh, micromanagement logistics all right let's go ahead and research maintenance and then afterwards we'll do security there let's go ahead and I think we can plan out 
let's plan out the other side of the other side of uh, our little area here. Let's get some more dormitories going. Four by two, I think. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Okay, that should be fine. out our uh, capacity a little bit here make sure that we can welcome with open arms as many as many people as possible um, we'll do the jail doors last actually let's go ahead and put bunk beds in and a little short on funds again all right perfect do this our utilities and we've got room for a few more a few more uh, lovely lovely lady prisoners for to join us so, all right uh, Ms. your warden you need to clean up after yourself sir until you've done researching maintenance um, who do we have here Annabelle boys 13 years for multiple crimes including robbery and perjury oh man husband daughter son mom and dad Robbery, perjury, aggravated burglary. Annabelle. I'm sure this is not the way you thought your life would turn out, Annabelle. Doing time. Hard time. All right, let's go ahead and... Ooh, that's what we need to do. Time to fence off our uh, lovely detention center here. Let's start... Fencing away. And do that. There we are. So I like to I like to do a little fence. Oops, sorry. I like to do a fence basically around the outer perimeter here. So if any uh, if any prisoners do manage to get out of their cells, then at least they have another uh, hurdle, another obstacle, if you will, before they can actually get out. Gives us one more. One more good chance to, uh, ooh. ooh. Hey, Harper Hill. Sentenced to eight years for false imprisonment. <laughs> she, she was, she's not actually guilty. <laughs> oh, man. That's unfortunate. Uh, Elena Doyle. 27 years for multiple crimes, including robbery, perjury, and perjury. Husband, son, and daughter. 58. Wow, Elena. It's, uh, Annabel. You're still there. Why are you there? You're like half in a wall. Kaylee Western. 19 years for gross indecency, perjury, and perjury. Everyone around here is a perjurer. It's so strange. All right. So we do have enough money, though. Let's go ahead and get some more bunk beds. Make sure that the toilets are directly in view of the, in view of the jail door. All right, and that should all right. There we are. Why is everything so gray? Because it's nighttime. What was that bell? Does that mean that? Oh, okay. So this is done. Um, tax relief. Increases corporation tax by 15%. Nice. And expansion micromanagement. Okay, let's go ahead and do. Do we have enough money? Don't have enough money, that's why. Uh, that's unfortunate. Alright, well, there's only one solution to that <laughs> selling logs. <laughs> little of the ways there and in the next few hours we should also get ooh, one awaiting solitary oh that's what this can be this can be solitary let's go ahead and get that 
set up real quick. So, right, you keep zooming out the wrong way. What? 100% damage? What is going on? Stella Backslatter? Come on, Stella. What are you wrecking stuff for? Food is decent. Workmen can just phase through walls. They can just phase right. That's ridiculous. All right, utilities. Why? Oh, that's why. All pipe. Boop. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get this solitary up and running. There we go. So we'll have three solitary cells down here. Objects. Solitary door. Five hundred bucks a piece. What kind of doors are these? Seriously. You don't need 500 bucks for a, for a door? All right, dismantle this tree, dismantle that tree, dismantle all the all these trees. All right, let's go ahead and got enough for that solitary door. Boop. All right, and room solitary, 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 solitary. There we are. All right, we do need a yard, and that is, I think, the last thing preventing us from getting our, our little, uh, I don't know, our bonus, if you will. So we'll do, the yard can be out here. Um, let's go ahead. Actually, we'll just do the yard long ways. Like so. We'll just have this be the yard. That way, uh, we can expand this bank out and also extend it down as well and then we can do the same up here we'll have a long I guess just long halls of prison prison cells if you will do, 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 do. all right so we got more people coming we got families waiting to visit eh. Eh, I don't really care I don't care right now at least um, we need we are going to need at least a couple more offices. So we'll do one more office and then we need a staff room. And I think that's what this will be right here. Staff room. Wide sofa and a drink machine. Alright, let's get those items. Quick. Wide sofa. 300 bucks for a wide sofa? What kind of... You don't need that nice of a sofa. Maybe I'm just completely out of touch with the furniture market. But I feel like that is ridiculously overpriced. Then again, my only experience with buying buying furniture really is uh, <laughs> what I bought in college. Like, at that point in time, you're basically just trying to get rid of your furniture so you don't have to haul it down the stairs again. All right, well, I think that was probably an extended first episode, but I think we're in a good spot. We'll wrap it up here. We'll wrap it up with this. We got ourselves a yard. We got a yard. There we go. 10 grand. Let's go ahead and get a large jail door here to lead out to the yard. And we'll put some weight benches out there so that our ladies can get there. Everyone knows that you only want you only want the butch ladies in uh, in prison. All right, so we'll wrap it up there and wrap it up by ordering my nice big outer fence. There we are. Make sure that all our visitors enjoy their stay for as long as possible. So that'll be the first episode. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching Additional Pylons Games. Click one of the boxes to watch another video, and click the circle to subscribe and join the APG Zealots. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with your friends. Comment below and I'll see you next time here on Additional Pylons Games.